Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Ranjit and today I am going to talk about Royal Enfield. Now, if you have, they have been in news uh, recently with the launch of their new bike named as Meteor. And uh, trust me guys, if you have been to the showroom and if you have sat on the bike and you have seen the posture, riding posture, I am sure all those people who have been using RD 350 handlebars will not require another shift because this has got this right uh, angle of driving where you are very comfortable driving this. Even the seats are, uh, you have an option of lower seats also. So it's very comfortable, extremely comfortable. Uh, one thing I am not very sure about is if it's going to be ex uh, that comfortable in traffic, but then I, I, it's just because your legs are extended and you keep it, your legs extended on the footrest which is slightly ahead. But nevertheless, this is a fantastic bike and I am sure that Royal Winfield uh, is taking the right steps towards the, you know, the finies of making things uh, which are well researched and, you know, well tuned over the period of time. Along with this, the bikes, Royal Winfield also has come out with a new range of riding gears and uh, conventional riding gears, what we see in the markets, there were a lot of them. And they are very, very good quality ones. There are so many, I mean, you don't have to mention the specific names like Binox, Biking Brotherhood, Mototech, Alpine Star. These are all very good quality uh, riding gears. The only uh, problem or the issue, uh, especially with we in south southern part of India, or the parts of India where we have got, you know, summers are pretty harsh and even the winters are, uh, no daytime is going to be harsher in sun. Uh, we always had a problem of you know it getting very heavy and uh, most of them were dark colors and uh, and then the the, the quadra fabric all over uh, does not allow too much of air to pass. And uh, in fact, I have personally bought a very good jacket from Biking Brotherhood named as Spiti. It's an excellent looking jacket, and I in fact one of my videos I reviewed it also. Uh, the only problem was that in our weather, it was very, very hectic for uh, wearing it. In fact, apart from that, it's quite heavy too. So the jacket, if you have to keep keep it at one place, even in a hanger, you putting it, it's a bulky thing. It, it, it needs some space. So it was quite difficult to maintain it, uh, maintain the sense that keep it safe and, you know, and it's too bulky. And so Royal Enfield's new range of jacket has got one series, which is the, the economy series, I should say, uh, it's a street wind uh, V2. I think they call it as that, that, uh, and starts from 4950 onwards. In fact, I saw one of those uh, videos from uh, Raj. Now, uh, it was I, earlier his channel was named as Raj, Ride with Raj. Now it is uh, Rad Boto. He reviewed a, uh, a jacket from that street wind series, which was not available in the market. I mean, not with the dealers. In fact, that that uh, that was a, a, a green camouflage combination of color. And in fact, I was waiting for it. I some, somehow liked it uh, pretty much. And then I was waiting, but uh, the stores have not got it. So I have not seen anywhere in the stores and they are not even aware of that particular color. Because otherwise, uh, the prices are 4950 each for the Street Wind series. But this particular one is priced at 5250. So, what I did was I went online and after too much of thought and, uh, you know, thinking about whether I should buy it or not, I went for it. And today I've got the delivery of it. So, this is the packet you can see. Just that I've got it. So today's video is going to be of the unboxing of this and how good it looks. So we'll see it for ourselves. So let us go for an unboxing. So let us do that. Straight away we'll go to the unboxing. So this is what I have for unboxing. Yes, I have got a scissor, not a knife. And I will cut it in a way okay this is the sticker side up so i will do cutting like this i will try and oh this does not help 
Pulling out will not help because you have to probably use a scissor and you know cut it off like this. Let me just see if I can cut it easily. So I've cut it wide open, you can see it, I'm going to pull out the sheet pin V2 camo jacket, here you are, now this is the one jacket, I bought a XL uh, size, so I'm going to just open this up, I think it's, oh, find out which way, yeah, escape from this side. So I am just going to open this in front of you and pull the jacket out. Okay, now this is the jacket. So we'll do wear it, see it from close quarters and see how good it is. Hold on for a moment. So friends, here you are with my Royal Enfield uh, green camo jacket. Now to show you this the front is entirely mesh so there is no absolute mesh in the front so the air passing would be very uh, good in this. It's a green as I mentioned earlier it's a green uh, color jacket. It's a green uh, forest green I should say. It's got some, some kind of a sheen on this. The bottom part and the arms here are all camo, camo uh, green. Looks very neat. If you see the, it's got reflector pipings on the top, on in the arms area here, in both the sides. And then in the reverse, it's got. You see, the 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 reflective lines are on your arms as well as you know here and even a small. The best thing about this jacket is not very loud, unlike a typical jacket when you see most of them have got a huge branding at the bottom part of it. All the premium jackets have got that. But uh, this is slightly understated but very good looking, very plain and very good looking um, uh, jacket which I felt. I personally like uh, jackets which are very, not very loud. So I think this goes well with my choice. There is a back protector is here in this. All the protectors are Knox protectors. So, in fact, the Knox has to be. I mean, you have to go to their website and register the product so that you get a five-year warranty on the uh, the protectors as such. So now I will wear it and show it to you further. How does it look on me? And then you can have a. So friends, here is the jacket. Now I am going to wear this and show it to you. How does it look? My size is XL. Uh, I would have uh, been happy with the large also but then since I've got a paunch so you know Excel suits me better. Now it's got YKK zippers which is again an uh, industry standard nowadays so uh, not much to talk about the, the zippers part uh, but uh, if you now it's got a tech and also it's got this uh, soft cloth inside so it's very uh, smooth if you see this mesh jacket uh, it's completely mesh in the front and even in the back it's got reflector pipings as i mentioned earlier on the back as well as on your you know this area and this area the armors have a monox as i've already mentioned and the fitting as you can see uh, you've got this Zippers where you know the, the the straps kind of a thing where you can just like you as per your requirement. This is absolutely you know mesh here. The only camo comes here uh, where your uh, armors are. They got it's got one, two, three, four, and five. Here also got the armor. If you wish, you can upgrade to a level 2 armor, these are all level 1 armor, 
so uh, I, the kind of speeds and the kind of tours which I do, I don't dive with much of speed, so I think it will, it will suffice. And uh, so uh, the, the, the jacket, for me, the purpose is solved because I didn't want a very heavy one. I didn't want a jacket which, you know, turns out to be a, you know, a hot oven when you're wearing it. So this is how it looks. I mean, I am sure. I don't know. Still, I, I'm not very sure whether the colors are very visible on my uh, camera. I'm shooting using a one plus seventy. So, but then it's a beautiful looking one because with the cream, uh, with the camouflage color, if you can see the camouflage on it. It really looks very, very good. It's a very good looking jacket. I can tighten it up from all quarters if I want to tighten it up. But like I can tighten it up from here, as you can see. So that options are all there. You can tighten it up from various quarters. You can tighten up all your hands. You know, if you want to the, the, uh, make the armor straight, stay straight. You can tighten it up as as you wish. <coughs> so that will take take care of your armors. Now the beauty of this jacket is even if you are assuming that you are wearing some you know, sweaters or sweatshirts inside, it's, it will take, you know, it's got certain amount of gaps so that, you know, you can wear it with it. So it takes care of your, uh, you know, slight windy or maybe if you are driving in a slight uh, cold environment, it can be uh, taken care of. If you are driving in a very uh, cold area, probably you'll have to wear inners in, uh, beneath it. And it's always better to, if it's very cold, you wear a, you know, wind cheater or, or a, at some certain cases, I have also uh, tried using the raincoat over the jacket, over this jacket. So uh, that saves you from the cold winds and maybe it helps you uh, to keep yourself warm. So, uh, friends, this is all about my jacket. I am sure you would be liking it. This is probably the second review on YouTube about the green street queen camo jacket. So uh, go and check it out in your nearest Royal Enfield store. Royal Enfield, if you are listening to my review, do consider uh, bringing this in blue color as well. The one uh, helmet you've got a blue, blue camo. In something on those lines, if you do, I, I think you'll have a lot of takers. Uh, you know, use slightly uh, bright colors, slightly bright colors, and I should say vibrant colors. Uh, so the people would like to buy it and wear it for their daily uh, commute. Probably when they are all wearing jeans and the blue and blue would look like much better. So uh, this is my review about it. Friends, I hope you like this video. If you like it, do definitely consider sharing it. And subscribe to my channel. I drive an Interceptor 650. Uh, I've not uploaded any uh, videos which, motor vlogging videos because I, I do not have an action cam. So I do uh, reviews and talk about the bike only after driving it. So uh, very soon I'll be having the setup. So uh, we'll look forward to you, see you again and maybe communicate further. Thanks all for watching. Always ride safe, wear your helmet, wear good riding gears as well. Take care then. Bye-bye. Just thought of showing you how does the color look like. If you see it from close quarters, you can just see, you can see the camo uh, uh, print. You can see the camo on the arms here. You can probably have a look at the green color from close quarters. It's got a slight amount of sheen and uh, it really looks very neat and very elegant. It's not at all loud and it fits well for me. You still have gap for wearing some, some t-shirts inside. So I am very happy with the purchase. Uh, if you see, see the camo here, it really looks nice.